week with weeks of testimony still ahead. Court convened for a six day this week in the double murder trial of Kyler used. Good evening. We're glad you could join us for KCTV 5 News at 10. I'm Neil Jones. Today, jurors heard from the man who discovered the remains of Kara Kopetsky and Jessica Runyons. The girls disappeared nearly 10 years apart, but both were found in this same wooded area in Cass County. KCTV 5's Emily Rittman was in the courtroom for today's compelling testimony. On Saturday, jurors saw photos of both young women's remains and heard testimony about how they were identified. They also heard from a man who went hunting for morel mushrooms, but instead found Jessica Runyon's and Kara Kapetsky, ending the search for them. On April 3rd, 2017, Keith Todd went to scout out a wooded area near 233rd Street and Y Highway in Cass County to search for mushrooms. I was just walking through there, you know, watching the ground. I was on game trails and such where it was easier walking and just looking on both sides of the trail, just hoping to spot a mushroom. Instead, he saw something that made him take a closer look. I found a skull. So I just started walking towards it and it got pretty rough in there. And so I was actually like, almost down on my hands and knees crawling underneath limbs and stuff. And uh, when I got like five foot away from it, I could see the hollow eyes of the skull looking back at me. Jurors saw photos of the remains and the location where they were discovered. Dr. Diane Peterson, who was the Jackson County Medical Examiner in 2017, told jurors a vehicle could be used to access an open field area near the wooded area where they were found about 62 feet apart from each other. I gathered my things, headed towards my pickup and called 911. Investigators responded and did grid and line searches of the area. Todd said he did not know Kara Kapetsky or Jessica Runyons. He did know about their disappearances. On that particular day, you were trespassing? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And when you were in that area and you discovered this, you contacted the police. Yep. You were aware that these girls had been missing. Yep. You were also aware that um, a reward was available. Yes. Todd received a reward from the FBI. Were you searching for reward money? For what? For reward money. No. What were you looking for? I was looking for mushrooms. What did you find? What did I find? Correct. I found Cara and Jesse. The exact cause of Kapetsky and Runyon's deaths is not known due to the condition of their remains. You cannot rule out strangulation as to a cause of death for Cara Kapetsky. Correct. And you cannot rule out strangulation as to a cause of death of Jessica Runyon's. Correct. Jurors also heard testimony that Kara Kapetsky was identified through DNA verification. Jessica Runyon's was identified through dental verification. The state rested their case today. The defense will begin presenting their case at 8.30 on Monday morning. KCTV 5 will bring you updates. Reporting from Cass County, Emily Rittman, KCTV 5 News.